take retribution against my dad and I. I'm glad that uh, it's finally over with. Also tonight, a violent attack called the 911 and an officer involved shooting. And tonight, we're getting an up close look at all of that chaos that was caught on camera. This began as a disturbance in Clark County near Northeast 114th and 128th. It ended with a deputy opening fire. Cole Miller was there all afternoon. And tonight, we're hearing from a man who lives at the home where this all happened. And Cole, once again, we have video of some of this. We do. It all plays out on camera. Now, that guy, though, he tells me that at the root of all this, suffers from mental illness as well as drug abuse problems, and had made threats toward him in the past. Things heating up, though, after he was kicked out of that home. At the end of the day, we know three people were hurt after things took a sudden turn for the worse. At this Clark County home, a team of investigators combs over this property, taking 3D pictures after a deputy shoots a man in what we're told was, quote, an out of control situation. Well, unfortunately, an old tenant of mine came back uh, if wanted some revenge on me. Rusty, who lives there, wasn't home at the time, but says a man who used to live here returned after a stint in jail looking for him. Started doing some drugs and started hearing voices and uh, everything went south from there for him and he lost his family and his home and uh, I think he blamed us for it. In this surveillance video, Rusty says his brother-in-law meets that man outside, the man throwing more than a dozen punches, landing quite a few before that brother-in-law can call 911 and get back inside. He hit him like 16 times, I counted him. Um, pinned him on the ground and just repeatedly pummeled him. Then that Clark County deputy pulls up in his SUV. Another struggle ensues. Rusty says that deputy was in a headlock, able to free himself, and then shot that man twice in the chest. He was then rushed to the hospital. That deputy, we're told, suffering minor injuries. For some neighbors, this all comes as a surprise. Others, not so much. All day, all night. Um, Lots of people just walking down the road and showing up there and all different age groups. It's been a pretty crazy place for years, really. A whirlwind day in the books. The hope now is that things just quiet down. I feel some relief because I know he's going to go away for a long time now. Yeah. And we know that deputy has been placed on leave. The regional major crimes team continues to investigate. No IDs have been released, and we have not been told tonight what that man's condition is who was shot. Back to you. Well, no doubt that video will play a huge part in the yeah. investigation. Keep us updated on that, we'll Cole. Do. Thank you.